Y Combinator is an incubator for startups, but that doesn't quite capture its significance. It's one of the best in the world. Dropbox, Airbnb, and Reddit all came from Y Combinator. Now, for a while, this secret enclave was passing out its billion-dollar secrets to just a select few. But then they did something really crazy. They posted all their offerings online for free. So, don your inner hoodie, because I'm going to give you their top 18 tips about how to launch your startup into the stratosphere. Ready? Don't think of startup ideas to start a startup. Now, this actually has a name. It's called sitcom ideas, because while they sound plausible, they're actually make-believe, and you'll get fooled into working on them. Instead, just take a notebook for two weeks and write down everything that pisses you off. You want an idea that people think is a bad idea, but is actually a great idea. <laughs> you want to say, hey, I know this sounds weird, but here's why it might work. You want to be crazy, but right in the end. Be an expert in your user. You don't need to be an expert in business or startups and your user. Talk to your users, build a great product, eat, sleep. Everything else, HR, PR, fundraising, they can wait. Better to make something people, a few people love than a lot of people like. Now, if they like it, they'll put it down easy. They won't tell their friends as much. You want to be indispensable, even if it's to a small group of people. Competition is for losers, <laughs> meaning <laughs> you want to be a monopoly even if it's in a small market. Take a small but fast-growing market versus a big but slow-growing one. Get a co-founder, someone with complementary skills. So in this case, Belushi, he was the innovative, never take no for an answer guy. Ackroyd, he's the square peg formalities detail guy. It was only together that they could outfox the uh, Chicago Police Department. And then, model your co-founder after James Bond. You want someone relentlessly resourceful, tough, but calm. And, as many of you have demonstrated tonight, good with a drink. <laughs> you should be able to summarize your startup in one sentence. Hi, my startup name is working on offering to help target customers to solve their pain point by your secret sauce. Anything else, it's too complex. Cut it down to one sentence. Delight and surprise your customers. For one contest, Wufu actually gave out a battle axe as a prize. A freaking battle axe! Now, uh, you may not be into medi medieval arts, but to a select group of people, this was certainly delightful. Create a tight feedback loop, something that will inform and improve your product based on user feedback. Now, at Kayak, they put the red uh, customer service phone in the middle of the engineers. They hated that phone ringing so much, they had to improve the product. <laughs> Work harder. Just a little bit makes a big difference. If your growth rate is 0.99%, you'll die and crash and burn. If it's 1.01%, you'll grow and flourish. Forging a company is harder than forging a product. You know this. People are irrational. And building a company is like putting all those people in a confined space for 10 hours a day and watching mayhem and soon. It's so much easier to build a product. Hire people so talented, they intimidate you. Just to be with them, you have to up your game. And together, as a team, if you're able to improve that product 10% a month, the comp compound benefit is huge. When hiring, your, oh, when hiring your first 10 employees, if you don't get that right, you're screwed. Think if you hired the Domino's nose-picking guy. Because those first 10 employees, they bring 10 friends with them. You've basically hired your first 100 employees. And ask them, would you work here if you ever uh, only had one more year to live? Now, this is a famous Airbnb question, and they actually changed it to 10 years because they were only getting loners who hated their families. <laughs> but you get the idea. Hire for passion. Your job as CEO is to simplify. Cut it down to one or two priorities using one or two problem-solving methodologies. Warren Buffett said, uh, build a company idiots could run, because eventually they will. <laughs> your culture is your brand. Before you do anything, write down your core values and stick to them. That way, you don't have to tell people how to make decisions, and they'll always represent you correctly. And finally, 
Don't claim you're changing the world until you actually change it. But do try, because you know what? You're good enough, you're smart enough, God dong it, people like you. <laughs> so go out and change the world. Thank you. <laughs>